It's a, a lovely sunny day. Um, rain clouds are coming in behind me. Of course, typically when I get outside, it starts raining, but hopefully, I think it's just a, a light shower, so um, I think we'll go anyway. I'm gonna head out for a, a spin on the bike, I think. Um, it is freezing though. I have my Osmo on the camera today because I want to try out the hyperlapse mode on it. Um, I haven't actually used that yet. They released the hyperlapse mode um, back in September, but yeah, I want to give it a go today. <laughs> Without any real agenda or any real plan of where to go, I wasn't worrying about stats and PBs and stuff like that. I think that's kind of going to be one of my goals for this year, is to uh, do more rides where I'm not worried about Strava, I'm not worried about my average speed, and my distance. And kind of just to uh, explore, find new roads to ride on, uh, roads that I haven't ridden on before, um, discover new parts of Northern Ireland uh, to cycle around, um, and kind of just uh, rediscover that uh, joy of cycling. Um, like when you were a kid and you just got on your bike and rode or when I first started cycling a few years ago and just kind of didn't worry about all the statistics so that's going to be one of my goals for for 2020 for sure all that being said I am still recording this ride for Strava one of the uh, great things about living a bit more rurally in the countryside is you have these amazing just quiet lanes with basically no traffic. Um, I much prefer riding out in the countryside than around towns and villages and cities. It's just nicer. Roads maybe aren't always in the best of conditions, but, but yeah, I just love it. Especially up here in the kind of the glens of Antrim. It's amazing. <laughs> Partly inspired by my buddy Steve's Instagram story yesterday. Um, hang on, I'll try this again in a second. Sorry, that ramped up a bit there. As I was saying, partly inspired by my buddy Steve's Instagram story yesterday, where he uh, ran up to the top of Glenariff, up past Dungonnell Reservoir. I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to see how far I can get on the bike. Steve did it on foot. I want to see how far the road bike can go. I'm going up that direction somewhere. <clears throat> Don't quite know exactly where the road is, but it's up that way somewhere.
is incredible up here. I've never been up here in my life. It was really, really incredible. Although, this is uh, as far as I'm going to go on the road bike. It turns to gravel there. And, uh, my bike's not, not set up for gravel yet, anyway. And uh, that's 20 miles down. So I'm going to turn and head back now. That's me home. Um, that was a good ride. Sorry, there's no uh, no footage on the way home. I was on uh, quite a busy road and had a, had a pretty mean headwind to contend with the whole way home. So um, I was just focused on riding, not shooting video. So, but yeah, that was that was a great ride. I really enjoyed that. Um, loved kind of discovering a couple of new roads. Um, yeah, if, if any of you guys have any suggestions of roads, especially around the north coast, uh, kind of around the glens or whatever, um, kind of the Antrim area, um, that are maybe quieter, kind of unknown hidden little gems, um, if you do, send me a little message. Um, that would be great. I'd love to love to um, discover them. It'd be super. I'm going to go in, get some dinner, have a shower, and then chill out. <laughs>